Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today we're going to be working with panels. A lot of fabric manufacturers make panels, so they'll be cute little pictures, individual pictures. And we have a lot of customers who come in and want to use these, but they're a little bit hard to put into a quilt. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is one of the cutest panels that we have. It's called Out of This World, and it's got aliens and spaceships, but the pictures are all different shapes and different sizes. So it makes it difficult to make a quilt. So we have some people who will just buy the 24 inches and put some borders on it, but it's still kind of busy. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the individual pictures out and put them into a quilt. I've cut out a few of the panels and you can see them here. They're just darling, but they're all different sizes and shapes. Some are almost square, some are wide, some are long. So it makes it very difficult to border them. I also don't like to applique on something like this. So I've got a technique for centering the piece or even moving it down to one corner. And then we are going to put it onto these background squares and I folded this over the panel and then stitched. And then I did it the other way. So it's stitched in there now. It looks like I had cut strips, but I didn't. I just started with a big square. So let's first start cutting some of these out. And then we're going to make sure they're straight because see this one looks kind of crooked. That's not going to look very good in the quilt. So I have techniques for straightening these up. When fabrics are rolled onto bolts, they sometimes get stretched a little bit out of shape. So if you can see this row here, it goes up and then it curves a little bit that way. We're gonna to wanna to straighten that out and we're gonna start by straightening out the whole piece of fabric before we cut out the individual squares. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this off the bolt. This is where the panel actually starts. So you've probably noticed if you bought these at your fabric store, they have to be cut one layer at a time because the back of this, if you see the line, it's curving the other way there. So we can tell right away it's not straight. So the first thing I see is it's leaning over like this. So I am gonna take the fabric and I am just gonna stretch it really hard like this on the diagonal. And that's gonna help get it back into shape. So you can stretch it, then you can fold it back like it came off the bolt and see if it's looking straighter. It's easier for me because I'm, I can stand right in front of it, but you're going to want it. You have to pull this really hard and then look again to see if it's looking straight. And let's check the back side and see how straight these guys, these guys are. These are not as crooked, but again, it's going this way a little bit. So we want to stretch it the other way. So don't be afraid to give it really, really hard pulls. Because we're going to iron it when we're done. We're going to get it all back in shape, even if you pulled it a little too hard. I've got it a lot straighter now. I'm standing right at the bottom here, and I can see that it's going pretty straight. I can also take my clear ruler and put it on one of the lines. You probably won't be able to tell, but I've got it on a line. And if these are straight across the panels, I can also tell it's pretty straight. Once we get it pretty straight and flat, then I'm going to want to steam press it. You want to use a lot of steam. You can use a spray bottle if you don't have a really good steam iron. And once you've got it steamed, then press it with the dry iron. And this will really help it hold its shape. So now I'm going to pull down here and see if these are looking straight enough yet. This one's still a little crooked, so I'm just going to pull it over and then iron it. So when you, if you see anything right now, you can just pull it a little bit, iron a little, and then steam press the whole thing. So this one wasn't as crooked as some I've seen. I've seen some really, really crooked ones and it's almost impossible to get them stitched into a quilt. But if you use that stretching technique and then iron, 
you can get them nice and square. Now we're ready to cut out the individual panels. The panels in this fabric are about a half inch apart. So that makes it really nice for me to cut one quarter inch around each panel because I can just go right in the middle here and both of them are gonna be cut at the same time with a quarter inch of that black showing. So now we've got a quarter inch there and a quarter inch there. I'm gonna turn it around, get this top one here, and you can see that this one didn't get ironed perfectly yet. So I'm gonna to have to pull it down here a little. I'm just holding down with my ruler and pulling down so that I will get a straight quarter inch. I will re-iron that after it's cut so it stays looking square. So I'm gonna to continue to cut here now here's where it was scissors cut off the bolt, so it's looking kind of hairy. It's fraying a little, so I'm going to recut that with the blade to make it nice and neat. And I'm just going to keep cutting apart the panels here until I have enough. I'm going to do 24 in my quilt, and I'll probably cut about 30 because some will be too little and some might not be the right color. I have a feeling this one's too long, even though it's really cute. So we'll cut a few extra, then we'll lay them on our blocks. I'm gonna have to get that guy. Then we'll go to the next step. Now the way we're going to get these panel blocks onto our background squares is we are going to be ironing this right over the edge and then stitching a quarter inch, and that's gonna catch that raw edge in there. But we need to know exactly where to fold it. So if you want to do your block centered, the easiest thing to do is to fold this into quarters, and you can either take your iron and just mark a little bit right there so we can see it. Same thing on the background. And this makes it really easy to center the panel on top of your background. So this is where it's going to sit. We can take a pin and go right through the middle and right through the middle. But to get my ironing exactly on these lines, I'm going to put this right underneath it. So I'm going to flip everything over and I'm going to stick a pin right in the middle and right in the middle there. And then I'm just going to swivel it around and eye it up so it looks straight here. And that looks pretty straight. Now, you could put a big pin in here with a big bite so that it stays put. And we're going to flip it over. Now I am going to fold this right along the edge of the panel. So right along that edge there. I'm going to fold it right there. Then I'm going to steam press it. Now I know it's right on that edge. Now we're gonna do the same thing up here. I'm gonna fold it down till it's right on that edge. Steam press it. Now I like to open these up and fold each side. So it's real easy to line up on that side and then iron it and then this side. Now once we're done ironing, we're going to unpin our panel and we're just going to bring it from the back up to the front. So I'm just going to unpin and it will be folded exactly on the outer edges of this. So we will be able to fold this right over and stitch down with a quarter inch. So I'm going to Get it right in place here, and I'm gonna put a couple of pins in, and then let's take it over to the sewing machine and stitch it up. So here's the panel with the sides flipped right over, and the raw edges are right up against that fold line. So now I'm going to sew one quarter inch here, And then the same thing on the other side. And we'll 
take these pins out and we'll open these up. Perfect. I really like it that I'm getting a little bit of the black showing there. Different panels will have different widths of borders and some people like to cut these off entirely. That's just a matter of preference and it's a matter of what the panel looks like. So I'm just finger pressing this open. You can take it over to your ironing board and iron that if you like. So this one is now going to get folded over here. And we do have a little bit of extra bulk right here where those other seams are. But we're just going to sew a quarter inch here also. And the other side. Fold it over. Now we'll open these up. And no matter what size our little panel is, all of our blocks are going to turn out the same size. They're going to be just about nine inches. So we'll take that over and iron it. Really, really cute. Really fun. Now let's give it a nice steam press. And once in a while, you will still see those lines where you folded it. So I like to have a spray bottle handy. You can get it wet right there and then dry it with your iron and that will get out any sort of fold. Perfect. Dry it all off. All right, now I'm going to show you how to do one of these with the panel not in the center. We're going to move it up a little bit. Now for this square, I think I'm going to move it up and to the left a little bit. We're going to use the same procedure to iron our sides over, but you don't have to have them all in the middle. So I think this one will look good right about here because it's going to have just a little bit of yellow left by the time we do that seam. So I think what I'll do is just make a mark here with my pin. Put an extra pin in, leave this pin here. And then this is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna take this pin here and put it right where that pin is going in. Move that one out of the way. We'll straighten it up after we flip it, but I know that's exactly where I want it. I want it right there. And when I flip it over, I may have to straighten it. Yep, so we're gonna just twist just a little bit. So again, we are going to flip it over and we're going to iron right with the fold along that edge. And we'll do that on all four sides again. Now, one thing you want to be careful of when you are ironing these second sets of folds is you don't wanna iron this fold completely out. You don't wanna cover your iron over that a whole bunch. It's okay right here, but try to leave the fold in up so that you can still see where to fold it. Now this is a little one. So that'll be a little trickier to not cover all of our previous ironing, but you can do it. Just do a little on the end here and just avoid that part when you iron. And then skip a little and get it over here. So now we're going to just take our panel to the front and it will fit exactly in there. And then we'll take it over to the machine, stitch, 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 stitch. Here's the last side on this block. And that's really cute having it uncentered like that. I really like that. And I'll probably put it facing this way with the little atoms up on top. So let's iron it and I'll show you how we're going to continue on with the rest of the quilt. Now I'm going to lay out my blocks and I'm going to pick which panels go on them. You can just make a lot of blocks and then lay them out at the end, but I think this particular colorway calls for a little planning ahead of time. I don't think I'd want that on the purple because it doesn't show up very well, but it looks pretty good on the green. It looks pretty good on the orange. I actually like that better. So I'm going to pick these based on 
how well they look on the background, and I'm going to vary the sizes, vary the shapes. So this one's a little small, but we could do one down in the corner or up in this corner, or we can continue to get the large ones. This one, we could do it. It'll just fit. There won't be very much border left. So that's what you want to do is just continue on picking ones that so you've got it kind of balanced color-wise. I probably have too much blue over there. I'm probably going to want to change, maybe put this one here. And I'm going to make 24 blocks, so I've got 12 of them here. So I'm just going to continue on with the same method that I showed you. Put them all together, probably put a little border on it, and then we'll get the quilt finished up. Can't wait to see it. I have the whole panel quilt finished. It was so much fun to make. I'm so happy that I can take all these different size panels and get them into a really, really easy quilt to make. Because the backgrounds are all the same size, no matter what size panel I put in, the, the squares still fit together. It was really super easy to sew the rows and sew the rows together. We have a free download that shows you how to do this. And we also have for sale the bundle that has the fabrics and the panel. And I don't know if you can see here, but we quilted it with planets, spaceships, moons, really a fun quilting pattern. We used a small border here, three inch cut border, and this is a K facet fabric, but it looks like the moon to me. It looks like planets. We've got the atoms on the backside. The quilt turned out 39 by 56, so it's a it's a nice child size quilt. Now this method that I used here would also work really well if you were making a t-shirt quilt. We have a lot of customers who come in and say, I need to make a t-shirt quilt, but the t-shirt panels are all different sizes. This works just wonderfully well with the panels of all different sizes. So get your panels, cut them out, get a nice big background, and you can stitch it up really fast into a nice quilt. Happy quilting.